Okay, I want to give you guys a little information. Uh, by the way, I'm over here at the post office. I'm leaving now. If you're getting something shipped from the States and it doesn't come directly to your apartment, uh, you're probably going to have to do what I'm doing, which is go to the post office and ask them where is the package. He told me to go to the city square and on the second floor, to, which is the customs. Uh, city square is the name of the building. I'm assuming it's downtown. You go down there, you go pick up a package. So ordering packages into Kenya so far has been a hassle. Like this is the third package I've had delivered in Kenya. And it's not like Zambia or uh, Tanzania where they would drop it just right off of your doorstep and bring it straight to you. Like even DHL isn't doing that. You still have to go through a process to pick it up and go to customs. So just know that before moving to Kenya, ordering stuff is gonna be a headache. It's so nice outside right now and uh, the weather is so warm. I'm just gonna go for a little small walk around this area uh, cause I'm not far away from my house but I'm just gonna walk down the street show you guys what it looks like. Where the hell am I walking to? So I guess I'm gonna walk somewhere where I can find a place that I can print out about 20 sheets of paper 20 NDAs because from now on what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start everybody I deal with especially women I'm gonna start putting them on NDAs just because of how much traction my name is getting and you know what kind of shit comes with that so I'm gonna I'm gonna play the game smart for right now Yeah, I see. Yeah, because my, my son just came. He's like, oh, I have no problem here. <laughs> yeah. Do have a name? Does she yeah, have a name? she's called Socks. Socks? Yeah, but you can change her name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that made her get out. Yeah. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, man. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we are back at the house and getting paper was a treasure hunt. I think I just got scammed uh, to get paper because I got 20 sheets of paper for the NDA and they said it was 100 shillings times 20, so 100 per document because it was two pages. They said it was 50 per page, so it, the document is two pages. And that was 2000 which is 14 US dollars. And the minute he told me that, I was like, what the hell? I said, it doesn't even cost that much in the States. And then he said something about the president is withholding paper, something that sounded like bullshit, but it may be true. And then he was like, so you can just send the money to me and then I'll send it to them. I was like, look, dude, come on, bro. Like, you, you think I'm, why? I said, why would I pay you instead of just paying them? And I was gonna pay him because he walked me all around the city to show me this place that I wouldn't have found by myself because I've been looking all day by myself. Uh, but that, that doesn't happen often in Kenya and it happened in town. I'm usually not in town. Of course, in an area like that, you're more likely to get scammed. But it, it's little stuff like that that's just dumb. But in Kenya, that's not really an issue. But we have the cat here. She said her, it's a girl. She said her name is Socks. And of course, she's scared right now, so. We're gonna uh, let her sit there for a little bit, put out the cat litter and all that, and then this is gonna be a new part of the show. Like I told you, I was bringing a cat. Here you go. All right, y'all. So now we're going to. All right, y'all, so now I'm going to cook my dinner for the night. I'm going to eat some, I don't know what exactly I'm going to make, but I'm going to make chicken. Baked chicken. Let's start there. Hello. Hello, everybody. It's Austin Holloman. And today I'm going to show you guys my first meal that I've cooked in like, like 11 or 12 months. I don't think I've cooked in 12 months. And this is my first meal for sure here in Kenya. So I'm going to show y'all that I don't have to go out to eat every time I still know how to feed myself. Now, one thing my mom always taught me was to make sure that I wash dishes, make sure that the kitchen is clean first, which my place doesn't get dirty. 
But make sure it's clean first before you even start cooking. That way there's less clutter in the way and it saves a lot of time. Now that I've washed all the dishes, now I'm gonna wash my hands, even though they get washed when you do that. Please, if you cooking food, wash your damn hands. I had I had a chick recently, not in Kenya though, in another country, from another country, try to come cook for me, and I didn't she didn't wash her hands the whole day. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go out to eat, and you can just can't. You can just do that by yourself. Alright y'all, so I washed this dish out. Uh, this is the one that came with the furniture. The only thing about it is I scrubbed it as hard as I could. That stuff not coming off. So if you see it on camera, no I did wash that dish. It looked kind of nasty to me too, but I washed it. I washed it for a long time, so it's clean, but I guess those are just stains. All right, y'all, so the first thing I usually do, of course, is rinse off all the chicken. All right, so now I done washed the chicken off. I mean, rinse the chicken off. I'm gonna put, what I do is I'll shake the seasoning out of the big end. And I know it might look like I'm putting a lot, but I'm not. Because now, I shake it up. I know it may not look like the whole color, but it works for me. And I tell you, it, it tastes, it may not look like that, but it tastes the way it's supposed to when I do it like this. Okay, so now I put them in here. It's probably just ain't gonna be enough because I can eat a lot. Now I realize I never turned the oven on, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm assuming whenever you use the ovens here, this is like top and bottom, heat from the top and bottom. This is bottom only, top. And I don't know what this is, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do uh, top and bottom. And then, what was I cooking? I think I was cooking mine at 450 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes to make sure they was crispy. I actually meant 350, so it's about 176. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So it's like 160, like right there is where you put it, so. I guess we'll see. I don't know how to turn the oven on. Or maybe it's this button right here. We'll just turn everything on, how about that? Yeah, that's what worked. So now you can hear it. And it's on, so we're gonna wait for this to warm up and then we'll do it. Or I could be lazy, because what I used to do back in the States, if I ever did this, I would just throw it in there anyway and let it warm up. Because I like my chicken wings so crispy, I like them almost burnt. So this is the biggest pot I got, so I'm probably gonna have to break this in half to get it to go in there, you know, something like that. And just put them in there like that. But I'm gonna let it boil first though. All right, another thing. Well, now we're gonna add the asparagus that I had to cut up and we're gonna steam it. We already put salt in here. One thing I, I don't know, I don't remember, it's been so long since I cooked, I don't know if I added the honey before or after, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't think I was supposed to put that honey in there right now. But I like to put honey on my green beans and my asparagus, just FYI. So another thing that my mom taught me was when you cook, to wash the dishes as you go and put everything back as you go. So that way, whenever you eat, there's no mess. And if you do have to clean up, it's like one or two dishes and then you wipe the counter versus doing another job after you just got through cooking by itself, which is a job too. Okay, you guys, I don't think I did the asparagus right, so I'm gonna go back. 
and add this on top. I, it's been that long since I cooked. All right, so the food is done. I left the wings in there a little too long almost, I think, because it's starting to get black. But they're crunchy, like I would like them to be. As you can see, I like them to be almost like fried chicken. All right, you guys, so the food is done. Believe it or not, they're not burnt. That's the way how I like them. We have the new guest. It's been crying. It's, it doesn't want to. Well, I, I don't know what it wants to do, but it's in a new place and it's scared because it's. You see his hair is sticking up. It looks like it just got took a shower. But it trusts me, right? Right? So we'll give it another day. In the meantime, we will try one of these wings and let's see how they taste. You know, I don't think that chicken could have been made any better. Let's try it again. If I had a job, I would take all my colleagues this chicken tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching the vlog until the end. This was just a typical day of me just showing you cooking. Tomorrow I will be doing some more events. I don't know yet, but I'm about to ask my guy what, what should we do tomorrow. So make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment on what you thought. Leave a comment on what you would like to see me cook next. I messed up the asparagus, but the chicken was really good. I had a guest over. She said she liked it too. I told her she shouldn't lie, and she said she wasn't. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.